Hi guys, we have a question on um, Discord about mirrors, basically. Um, well, another issue, but I told them, why not change your mirrors? And it's important to remember that all our packages are coming from a place somewhere. And there are so many mirrors, there are so many servers around the world that you can't expect them to be up to date every second of the day. Right? There will be differences between servers. So I told them, uh, update your mirrors. And we have so many aliases about this already, so many videos. What I've never shown you is that besides the aliases, and uh, RAM is the one I'm using lately, there is also the possibility, and which I do as well as an ISO builder. So ISO builders here, what I'm going to say, does the list of the mirrors change all the time? mirrors well they stop right sometimes the mirrors in a certain country for a certain reason just cease to exist and there are new servers coming around so from time to time i'll just go to pacman mirrorless generator so you can do that too you can select any protocol that you like i say all always and then generate the list and then we get a long list and the guys that are majorly important is this these two guys is, is, is mirror rack space right but none of them will be used they have all hashtags no problem just select everything so it's a long list of worldwide servers that come and go into existence control c that's that super shift enter I'll go to my, let's go to root, to etc, pacman.d, that's where you need to go, pacman.d is here. That's our list, that's the Celtic mirror list, that's the Arginix list, right? So this is what we need to do, install Sublime Text. Here we have a list, more or less the list I've created, I never changed it, so in 2021, 12, 12, I've made that list. And it will always be good because the guys at the top, that's the major server for Arch, right? So control A, delete, control V. This is the new server list made today. And so it says up here, 2022-02-18. Just happens to do exactly the same thing for our ISOs in March. Now it will not be used, or maybe a good interesting thing, right? I have not activated anything. What happens if you forgot to forget to do that? Fail to synchronize all databases, no servers configured. How can that be? Well, it's all with a hashtag. So if you do a Perl, there's no coloring. There is no coloring whatsoever. So with the syntax on Perl, then probably you say, oh, I kind of forgot to do this, right? Then the color kicks in now the servers are working now i can say let's update now he knows what to get where so that's the message to the user on discord but maybe in the same time let's make something interesting as well the tip is out there in so many videos but right finding it is something else sublime text only sublime text shift left shift when I drop this, oh, let's kill this, these things here. That's it, I think. Um, so, sublime text. The arrow, put the, the, the cursor somewhere, there's this um, orange line there, just before S. Then shift, then the right mouse click, and then drag. Oh my God, right? What are we doing? We're making a line, a long line just before the S, and then Eric presses backspace. Boom. All the servers are now activated. All of them. Is that a problem? No. What will it do? It will get all the packages from here. <laughs> you won't see all the rest. But if the package you want is not here, it will look it, look it up here. And if it's not there, it will look it up there. And if it's not there, and now you know why everything is activated. It just goes down the list until it finds the package. So this is, I don't think, explained. But voila, 
now you have a video to update your package list and also the tip there for Sublime List. All right, cheers.